fellow friends and welcome back to my studio. Today I have something big in store for you. So I have a 40 by 60 inch canvas prepped and this is the inspiration piece. So you guys saw me do this a couple of weeks ago and I've just been absolutely obsessed with it. I really, really love how this turned out. So I have really been just wanting to go big with it. So that's what I'm doing today. Um, I'm going to bring you down, I'll show you the colors, and we'll get pouring. Here we are with the colors. So from Blicrylics, I, or sorry, Liquitex, I have Burnt Umber. I have Modern Masters she Seashell, nice shimmery white. I have Carbon Black from Golden iridescent gold from golden and blicrylic copper really pretty shimmery copper and then this is a combination of champagne gold and drips that i saved from the last painting now i have a big tub of it back here but i've put some of it aside in a smaller cup so that it's uh easier for me to handle So for those of you who don't regularly follow me, I almost always put a base coat down first, and especially when I'm using metallics. This is really important if you plan on leaving negative space so that you have a nice smooth um, background. Otherwise you will see kind of those lumps and bumps as it, it dries and waves and things like that. So I do like to get a nice base coat down first before I start pouring. I am going to be going through this video fairly quickly. I have most of it at 2x speed, and I've also cut quite a bit out of the times where I'm just kind of moving around and not really doing anything that is productive for you guys to see. A big painting like this will take me about an hour from the time that I put the first drop of paint on the canvas to the time that I am completely finished. So here I am pouring my paints into the open cup and I just wanted to point out you do always want to add a little extra paint around the cup and then I like pouring from up high because that's going to give you a lot more blending when it hits the other paints that are down on the canvas. Shake. 
Here we are with a wet walkthrough. Now I don't have a ton of space to move around here, so I'm just gonna kind of give you a little bit of a bird's eye view. Some beautiful stuff going on here. I think it's gonna dry gorgeously. And I'm hoping when I get back from Florida and it's dry, I'll be able to take it outside and show you the dried results in the sun. And I'll give you a lot more detail then. Here we are with the dried results and got lucky with a gorgeous day in February here. It's a little windy, so I apologize for any noise in the background, but oh, look at this. Worlds and worlds and worlds. This is just stunning. I hope you guys enjoyed this big, big canvas as much as I did because I am in love with this. Okay, I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.